Tonight on a house fire that left a Chickasaw family of eight homeless. Our crew got video of the large blaze during yesterday evening's fire. NBC 15's Jasmine Williams joins us there now live. And Jasmine, they're really just thankful to be alive tonight. Yeah, that's right, Greg, Andrea, and you can see why a crew out here as we speak boarding up the back portion of this home here in Chickasaw, an entire family inside, along with two small children when it caught fire. Six kids and it's me and Kenny, and uh, so we're a family of eight. Allie Rideout watches as fire investigators comb through the rubble of her family's home, looking to see what led to this chaotic scene in Chickasaw yesterday afternoon. It burned continuously until around 9. 30 last night. The blaze broke out around 4 p.m. and was so intense it burned for hours and could be seen near the interstate. Rideout admits she was hysterical, scrambling to make sure her family and six children were fine. On the scene, the public safety director and crews working to get fluids and ID due to the intense smoke and heat. There's no words. There's so many people who've lost and uh, we we only lost material things. So we're super blessed. We're super blessed. It's blessed that the uh, that the family was able to make it out, you know, without any injuries and the uh, fire department and all those that assisted, you know, did an outstanding job. From here, the family of eight is asking for any help as they attempt to rebuild. They have six children ranging from ages two to 16 in need of clothes, food, and support. I know that our community is going to rally around helping the children and um, uh, for for that I'm just so thankful. And again a crew is out here boarding up this home as we speak just trying to salvage and save anything they can. Now if you want to help this family their church is leading the way with donations just contact Chickasaw United Methodists. Live in Chickasaw, Jasmine Williams, NBC 15 News.